Brandon Miller scoot. I feel like we need to address that first yeah. because we can save Victor for later. I feel like that's a separate conversation. Yeah. But I know for one, we've made a few videos on Brandon Miller. Everyone's tried to tell us Scoot Henderson over Miller. He's the better fit, blah, blah, blah. He's, I mean, he's some hyper-athletic six-foot-two guard, which he is, don't get me wrong. But from the jump, we knew that Brandon Miller was going to be the best fit available for the Charlotte Hornets team. There's no news about it. I mean, he can play on and off the ball. He can catch and shoot. He's athletic. He has defensive upside. And he can coexist coexist with franchise cornerstone Lamelo Ball, which obviously that's the reason why they drafted him. But I want to hear your thoughts because I know you're the huge Brandon Miller fan out of us too, and I feel like you you have a lot of good things to say. Well, like yeah, where where do you start with Brandon Miller? I think you know in terms of size and you know having that prototypical kind of build that a lot of NBA teams are looking for now: six eight, six nine. Point guard, not point guard. Uh, sorry, a forward who can, um, you know, handle the ball, shoot the ball. He's probably the best shooter in this draft, outside of Bryce Sensible. Um, he's a winner. He makes winning plays. He can be dynamic in transition. I think he's improved his rim protect, uh, rim uh, finishing, and also you know his versatility on the defensive side of the ball to be able to guard multiple positions. Very much in the mold of a Paul George, um, who's his favorite player and someone who actually followed him back recently on Instagram yeah. and. Called him the goat. <laughs> yeah, controversial. Um, but, you know, I think he's just looking from it from a standpoint of who he looked up to. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, the goat conversation can be a very broad thing. And, you know, it's t- just determined on what you think yeah. is. Um, it's very so stupid. It is. I saw a lot of LeBron fans coming at him like, how dare he disrespect the king on my Instagram, this and that. Like, at the end of the day, there's a reason why he said Paul George. Mm. He models his game after him. That's his goat. Like, yeah, what's wrong with that? Exactly. Like, like you're my goat. You know, you're the greatest of all time. <laughs> I don't see anything wrong with, you know, calling someone a goat. But yeah. everybody wants to just be so... They just get too caught up mm. on it. When there's so many great players that go unappreciated, I'm glad he said PG's the goat. No, 100%. And like I said, he his game, I think it's very much suited to the NBA game in terms of the spacing that he'll find in the league. Obviously, college is more... Uh, zone defense, longer shot clock. Yeah. You know, yeah, you, you, you don't probably have as much space to be able to find the gaps. And obviously, with better shooters in the NBA, you're going to find more closeouts, uh, more chances for him to obviously um, get open looks and yeah. to be able to utilize his athletic ability to um, put the ball in the in the basket. So I think alongside a guy like Lamelo Ball, um, he can complement him. Lamelo obviously will be the the primary ball handler, so it takes that responsibility away from Brandon Miller, and he can just ease his way into the NBA game and yeah. get a feel for it, and you know really help take a bit of that brunt off Lamelo himself. So um, it's a good pick. I went onto the Hornets Instagram um, yeah. comments, and they were all salty. They're like, "No, we hate this pick." Scoot was oh really? Yeah, they're not even backing it. No, nah, they're not. Like some people are saying, give him a chance and everything like that, but a lot of them are just so caught up with Scoot's athleticism and his mixtape and his highlights against Victor Wembanyama in that G League Ignite game. Yeah. That all of a sudden, everything that Brandon Miller did, um, despite his struggles in the tournament and everything like that, and on the off court stuff, we've addressed it a million times already in the previous videos. But just on that entirety, you know, you still got to look at it from that perspective and say like he is the best second best player in this draft and I'm going to stand by that until this day and, yeah. and until going forward until he proves me otherwise. Um, but I think, yeah, Michael Jordan was impressed with his second workout. He showed a lot more um, in that side of things rather than the first one where he was probably a little bit lax in terms of his intensity, but he showed why he is, like I said, regarded as the second best prospect and yeah. Julie was picked in that position. I mean, talking smack to MJ has balls to do that. Yeah. As a rookie, I feel like too many people are getting caught up in the the case, like with the murder of that girl. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, innocent till proven, innocent till proven guilty. Mm. And yeah, I mean, he hasn't been proven guilty yet, so and just I just give want, him a chance. Yeah, and I just wanted to say one more thing regarding that. It's obviously there's a lot of due diligence that's done these. NBA players that are picked in this draft, it's an investment to these teams. So a team like the Charlotte Hornets with the second pick and notoriously had history of selecting guys that were either injury prone or, you know, maybe didn't have the tra- skill set to transition to the NBA a la Michael Kidd-Gilchrist. Yeah. Um, 
you've got to look at it from that perspective. They've done enough due diligence to, to understand the situation. They've basically gone through, you know, everything that they needed to with, with this case and they feel comfortable in the fact that they can trust Brandon Miller's character based off all this stuff that's been going on and they wouldn't have picked him in the second pick in the draft if they didn't feel like there was they were safe in the knowledge that, you know, this was all going to go behind him. Yeah, no, 100%. I think we've wrapped up everything yeah. we kind of need to say about Brandon Miller. Overall, Hornets, it's a dub. Mm. They take home a, a win for sure, I think. With Brandon, you know, they can push for playoff contention.